Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryguy Gaming here today, and today I am here with another Roblox scripting tutorial. And today we are going to be revisiting something that we have kind of done before in various scripts and such. Today we are doing dialogue shops. So just like our shop button or just like our shop GUI, today we will be doing how to buy stuff from dialogue. And so just to show you how this works, we will say, I'd like to buy a weapon. I changed up his dialogue a little bit. And then we will buy the sword. He gives us the sword and he says, here you go. And now, I uh, just to show you that this works, I will try to buy the scythe. Just a second. And he will not give it to me and he says, you don't have enough money for that. So let's go ahead and take a look and see all how all this works. So I will zoom out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have your player all set up like we have here and you want their dialogue. And inside their dialogue you're going to want all your choices and your script. Um, I just named this dialogue choice shop. Obviously if you want him to be a shop NPC, you can just have the initial dialogue say like, what would you like to buy and have the different things. But since I have him say like, hey, how are you doing today? I made the option so you can say, good, how are you? And then he says, I'm good. But it just depends on how you want to set it up. If you want to learn how to set up dialogues, go watch my dialogue tutorial um, on the channel. And so in here is where I have the shop. Now, the way my script is set up and the way you're going to want to do this is f first thing, you're going to want to find the weapon you want your people to be able to buy and put it in the server storage. So I have my classic sword on my side. And then you are going to want the name of the dialogue option to be the same as the weapon in the server storage. So as you can see, I have Classic Sword and Scythe, both spelled the same, looking exactly the same. If you don't do this and you copy my script, it will not work. So you either have to mod the script or you have to follow this and make the name of the weapon the same as the name of the dialogue choice, if that makes sense. So all you have to do is you can say like whatever, however you want the player to say that they want to buy it. You can even just say that like, I'd like to buy a scythe for 100 GP please or something like that. Um, just however you want and then you can just leave the response dialogue blank because we will edit that in the script. So without any ado, let's jump into the script. I think I'm gonna, before I do that, I think I'm gonna set up a camera over here so that way we can see like the properties and the explorer more zoomed in. I think that would be good for future tutorials. But anyways, here's the script. And if you remember, we've already kind of did like scripted dialogue choices before when we did the RPG like heal tutorials. So this shouldn't look too different. So we just say script.parent which gets the dialogue dot dialogue choice selected connect fun and then make it a function and then you want the player and the choice the choice just holds the whatever choice they selected and player holds the player that selected the choice and so this will go into our function and if the player is not equal to nil you don't have to have this line probably i just do it for precaution it's always good to check to see if your variables are actually contain a value and then we say for the first choice we say if choice dot name is equal to scythe then and so here is where you will change to the name of the dialogue choice so that would be over in the explorer what the name of the choice is which would be the same as your weapon because that's how this script is set up then we get the weapon from server storage, which uses the name of the choice to find the weapon. That is why you want the choice and the weapon to be the exact same name. You don't have to do it this way. You can hard code in the name if you want of the weapon. I just find it easier this way because you don't have to script as much. You can just copy and paste from like here to here. But 
Yeah, anyways, and then you get their leader stats. To be honest, if you'd like, you can probably just do all this up here after you get the player. Actually, I think I will want to do this. So if you want your script to look a little more clean, you can put this line here. Oops, that does not look pretty. <laughs> you can put this line here just so that you don't have to have that in here. Let me find my backspace. There it is. And then I can delete that out of here too. Doesn't do much. Just make sure, oops, just make sure script looked a little prettier so you don't have to type as much or copy and paste as much every time. So now what it does is it checks to see if there's a player. It gets their leader stats and their money value. You want to change this to whatever your tycoon or your RPG leaderboard has your money value called. So whether it's gold or money or cash or whatever. And then... Yeah, it goes back into the choice, gets the weapon, and then this is your cost variable. This is how much you want it to cost. It will check if the money you currently hold is greater than or equal to the cost. Then it will subtract the cost from the money value and set that to the new money value. Then it will clone the weapon and put it in the backpack and the starter, GO or the starter gear. The backpack will give it to them immediately, and the starter gear will give it to them every time they spawn. And then it will change the response dialog to here you go, or whatever you want to confirm that they made the purchase. You could say like, here you go, you now have, and then use the variable. Like, let's say I wanted to tell them how much money they have after they make the purchase. I could say like, here you go, sorry I have to move my mic you now have and then I go like this oh I need a space dot dot um, money dot value dot dot and I would say my oops <laughs> money there we go and now it will tell me how much money I have left and then, yeah, it, so he'll say that to confirm that you bought the item. And then otherwise, he says, you don't have enough money for that, and he won't do anything. Next, you need an else if for each additional um, option. So all you do is just copy and paste this, stick an else in front of it, and then just change what you need like the cost and the name of the choice and the response option if you want or whatever here's the thing though with else ifs is <laughs> every time you do one the end will be like it it's kind of hard the ends for else ifs is stack so they do not go after each so here's the if as you can see there's no end that lines up with it before we go into the else if and the other else if this is because the ends for these stack so just make sure that they stack like that so you're gonna have your if but there will be no end and then you'll have your else if and then there will be the ends at the bottom if that makes sense I hope that makes sense because that's pretty critical I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of my script won't work because the ends aren't in the right place. Because if you, let's say you tried to put an end here before the else if, it won't go into this else if at all. So I wouldn't be able to buy the sword. So anyways, let me get rid of this because it's rather redundant to have two. But as you can see, my ends are stacked. So let's go back out back into this and I just want to show you that now he will tell me how much money I have left I'd like to buy a weapon please buy scythe I think I spelled scythe wrong <laughs> you now have zero money there you go and as you can see over here I have zero money so I need to learn how to spell but other than that the script works fine <laughs> Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today. I hope this helps out your game. I would definitely use this in a game. I think I'm very, I 
really like the idea that someone gave me to you to make this into a tutorial I sorry I can't remember who it was but shout out to you <laughs> this is a great idea I feel like this brings some like class to your game I feel like buttons and stuff like this are kind of becoming things of the past it seems like everything's becoming like GUI or keyboard or context action or dialogue so this should just help spice up your game just a little bit more by not making people have to step on buttons to do things you can click around and stuff so i hope you guys enjoy please be sure to subscribe for future tutorials hit that like button if you found it helped you and post a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions if your script doesn't work please be sure to first make sure that your ends are all in order because there are a lot of ends in this script there's like how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have like five, not counting this one here. But make sure your script looks like mine. I'm going to show it one more time and zoom in and we can scroll up and down and stuff. So here it is. Let me scroll up and down so you can get all of it. Just pause the video. And then if it still doesn't work, make sure you go watch the troubleshooting video. There's a couple tips in there. And then, of course, you can always post a comment with any questions you have. If it, you still can't get it to work, just make sure you include the error output. Next, please be sure if you would like me, that's what I wanted to say, if you would like me to do a place review, Please be sure to type review colon and then either the URL or the name of the Roblox place you would like me to review. And I'll check it out and do a review of it and it will be in a video. But other than that guys, please keep those tutorial suggestions coming and I will see you guys in a later video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.